Hi friends, welcome to Fragrances of Joy. This is my top 25 leather based fragrance in my collection. Hope you all enjoy. Hi friends, hope all of you are doing well. Welcome to my channel Fragrance of Joy. Today I want to talk to you about uh, top 25 leather based fragrance in my collection. When we hear uh, the note leather, uh, we think about manly, uh, masculine, um, animalic, uh, you know, the buttery, sophistication and, uh, you know, very complex note. Uh, this leather note cannot be extracted from any natural beings. It's always created by certain combinations of nodes and uh, get that leather accord. Could be like, um, you know, the rich uh, real leather node or the suede node, um, which is very classic uh, when you combine leather node with some spices um, and uh, suitable flowers and uh, various strong bases. It gives very complex and amazing long lasting perfumes. So most of the um, men, uh, men fragrance has this note, most of, not, not all of them, but most of them ha should have is as a base note. Some has as a, um, you know, the top note, but it's an amazing scent. And I like this scent very well, very much. Um, so um, I just wanna introduce you the 25 of them. The first one is a classic one from 80s, 1988. Dior came up with uh, Dior Fahrenheit. This is an amazing, unique scent, uh, which grabbed the attention very fast. It has that petroleum vibe. So they added violet leaves, uh, the nutmeg, and some spices along with the leather. Um, it gives you such an amazing, unique scent, which is long lasting too. Um, so it's very unique and it's very, uh, the opening is kind of fresh. It has some lavender uh, and uh, the nutmeg and some cardamom and some violet leaves and along with the base of uh, leather. Very classic. It has an old vibe to it but still uh, it is an amazing scent. One of the classics from Dior mainly focusing on men. Second one is another Dior classic. This is Dior Homme Parfum. This has the resemblance to the original uh, Dior line and which has some added cacao buttery leather notes to it. Amazing performance and great longevity. It has three things in there. It has iris, it has the sandalwood and it has the leather accord. It's an amazing scent. Um, it's a classic, sophisticated, complex scent, which is very rare nowadays uh, in, in the fragrance, uh, you know, manufacturers. Uh, I mean, uh, fragrance distribution. Uh, the second one is the third one. Sorry, the third one is one from Perfume the Empire, the Queer Ottoman. This came in 2006, an amazing classic fragrance, which is very soft leather, not hard on your face type. It has some iris, leather knots, and uh, added sweetness by Tonga beans. Very soft leather, very nice, very classic. Um, the performance is kind of five to six hours on my skin. It has some flowers like jasmine and some added um, uh, you know, um, Starax gives some depth to it and also the leather, which is so sweet and amazing. The next one from uh, a Spanish house, Ramon Monigal, is their Creole. Look at the juice, that color. So this one is a sweet, 
leathery scent with some powderiness. The sweetness comes from honey, the beeswax, and it has the leather as a base, an amazing fragrance. And it, it don't have any leather knot um, recorded or mentioned anywhere, but it has that leather, uh, you know, uh, on your skin, you know, uh, after a few hours. I think it's because of the cinnamon and uh, some spices added with incense uh, and, uh, you know, some uh, balsamic qualities will add together to give you that um, leathery touches to it. If you have ever tried this, let me know your comment on it. It's an amazing scent. The next one is from Olfactory Studios, Chambre Noir. There is a designer Bentley intense for men which has a similar vibe but this is a different class of perfume it's an amazing leather perfume it has added plum and uh, some would see notes and balsamic qualities which gives you it has that sandalwood creamy base along with the leather which gives you that amazing long-lasting classic vibe to it balsamic smoky leather And some violets it's an amazing scent if you ever this is one of the best best creations by the olfactory studio next one is a unique house of swallows with a unique concept uh, this one is rhinoceros this is a macho kind of uh, leather on your face very dusty dark spicy Ooh, you will be easily noticed the moment you spray it it, ha it it you know it starts with some some spices like sage um, you can clearly note the sage and the bergamot but the bergamot is uh, overpowered by the sage and some pine woods it has tobacco it has the leather sandalwood very smoky rough you know that rough tumble leather kind it has an old feeling to it and the spices combined with the leather it's an amazing scent it's a long lasting it's very potent you have to scrub it off it's an amazing look at the picture so it shows that rhino with that skin the leathery uh, you know the dark uh, the tough leather Next one is a house, Memo Paris and their African leather. They have a lot of uh, leather scents. Uh, so this one is kind of unique. Uh, it has that spicy, warm leather notes. A lot of spices. Uh, has the bergamot in the opening. It has some cardamom, it's spices, clove. I get some saffron. It has some cumin. Uh, and also uh, the leather and some wood. It is like a spice market. Um, I know you put all the spices, um, the cumin, the cumin, the you know the uh, saffron, all these uh, wood chips, and all you combine and put it in a um, you know leather bag, and you open it after a few days. That's what you get. It's a long-lasting, amazing scent. I, I get some incense vibe to it. The next one is from Nasomato Duro. This is also very harsh kind of leather. Very manly, very woodsy, spicy, animalic leather. This also, this see this extracted perfume co uh, concentration lasts on your skin for a long time. It has the spices and uh, you know, I get some kind of um, chemical note at the end, I mean the base. Um, which is kind of weird, but it's a long lasting, powerful leather fragrance. Duro, it's apt for a man on a wintry weather. Uh, the next one is, this is not in any particular order, uh, but these are, I just combined all of them together. Uh, the next one is from Master Perfume and Roja Perfumes. Uh, their Perfume De La Nuit number one amazing complex a bunch of notes and uh, Roja is especially 
um, he's a master in base notes he combined his uh, initial note you get some bergamot or some kind of citrus on the top and the heart and the base is amazing it's a the blend is beautiful it's dark and mysterious uh, this one don't know it has any leather note mentioned but it has a leather accord created uh, by the labdanum and uh, some tolu balsam and it uh, ro most of the ro uh, roja's dark fragrances has this castorium or civet or styrax this kind of base added to it gives that oomph and depth and uh, this will last for a long time and it it definitely has that leather vibe at the end um, and it's a very dark rich perfume i don't think everyone is gonna love it but it's it has that nice classic leather jacket vibe to it uh, the next one is also from roja it's an exclusive for harrods it is the Roja Edge, the exclusive black tire. It came out in 2016. Amazing leather dark fragrance. It has powderiness, spiciness, balsamic qualities to it. Uh, this is a 30 ml bottle. It, uh, the next one is a 100 ml. It has some rose, uh, some flowery notes like jasmine on the top, some violets, some fruity notes on the top. But the most thing you get is that sandalwood and suede kind of leather knot. An amazing long lasting scent. Let me put it on there. It's been a while. Yes. You get that uh, richness. You get that, you get that citrus on the top, but it is not the bright citrus. It is, uh, it's, it's combined with some Ben soin and you get the myrrh and you get the various spices on the base slight hints of jasmine and violet uh, combined with rose amazing fragrance amazing fragrance from Roja. next one is uh, from uh, house from Amman the Amaraj Amaraj interlude man the blue beast what can I say about it? Everyone knows about it. It's very balsamic, spicy, leathery scent. Um, it has that oregano opening with uh, some pepper and you get um, incense, woodsy note and leather. It has the patchouli and wood bases. Last on your skin for a long time. If you want some intense uh, fragrance, a long lasting powerhouse, definitely check it out. This is Amawaj Interlude Man. The next one is a designer, one of the from Chanel. It's a classic from 1981, Anteus. Let's see here. It has that classic white, you know, the macho, balsamic, woody, leather, uh, a smoky. Uh, the opening, it, you get the various citrus like lemon, bergamot, uh, combined with some aromatic notes like sage, middle, thyme basil the combined combination of these various aromatic uh, notes which gives you that original cooking vibe to it and it also has the castorium base uh, leather and oak moss uh, which definitely adds the depth to it it is a classic from the 80s and it is still people love it it has an old vibe to it but try it out check it out it's one of the amazing creations by chanel Okay, let's go to the next one is from Frederick Mall. Uh, Jean-Claude Jean Elena is one of the creation that's Rose and Coeur. Amazing scent. This one is actually a recent scent from them. It's a fresh, spicy rose combined with leather. So you get the vegetal rose. It is not that soft, beautiful rose. It has some vegetal aspects to it. And uh, it has some spices thrown in there and with leather. Leather is not prominent here. Um, this lasts on your skin for a long time. Uh, but the major notes are geranium. Uh, it's combined with some Sichuan pepper. Um, 
some leather and very well combination so it's it's a unique one um, there is nothing groundbreaking but it's an amazing scent uh, with a long lasting um, nature so that's from frederick mall the next one is one of the amazing combination i want to show two designers uh, that you can put it in the same family one is Bentley for men absolute Bentley for men absolute this is Bentley is a car company we know that they make classic cars but their perfumes are also great this one I choose uh, rather than the Bentley intense is uh, because it has this leathery notes to it let me put it some in this the paper it came out in 2014 it's the balsamic woodsy it has some ginger woody notes to it pepper olibanum cedar some kind of paper note papyrus notes so it has that leathery accord to it so it's kind of it is uh, strong in the opening uh, and a few hours it will fade down and this is similar to one of the classics one from Gucci Gucci Purum one same kind of scent you get that smoky you get that would see one spicy uh, the basil combination uh, along with the uh, uh, you know the lavender cedar and patchouli it's an amazing scent uh, this both has that burning sensation that is from the uh, uh, from uh, you know the cedar um, and pencil shaving kind of vibes amazing scent I, I think it's been discontinued it's not available uh, but if you cannot find this one uh, try this one it's similar from Gucci and Bentley Let's go to another amazing one from Gucci. This is Gucci Guilty. And uh, this one is Absolute. Gucci Guilty Absolute. This came out in 2017. It has one of the character of this one is the top note is leather. So the moment you spray it, you get the leather. You know, it's a rough leather. And uh, with some kind of medicinal qualities uh, added to it. It has some cypress and uh, some woodsy notes and uh, the leathers, cypress and woodsy, that's the main notes. Um, uh, there's not much flower in it. I don't get any flower. I get that medicinal white to it and that um, dark leather to it, added depth to it. And it is a um, unique fragrance. Um, I don't think everyone is going to like it and appreciate it, but this is a craftsmanship it's a different kind it's a unique take a bold step so amazing leather fragrance let's go to another amazing house chanel goody rusi this is the edp concentration what can i say about it it is a classic classic leather scent classic one from 1924 it stood the time um, it lasted various seasons and it's still amazing amazing one this is a woodsy floral leather you get the leather you have the bridge you have the great flowers on the top orange blossom um, you know lemon and uh, it has some jasmine carnation which gives that old vibe classic vibe to it and uh, the performance wise people say it is performs well but on my skin um, it is okay it is not that long but it's an amazing scent overall complexity and the combination and the blend is amazing and it has that uh, sweetness uh, from the vanilla on the base too let's jump to another unique house this is from Adich Ledore their war and peace two I missed the one so this is two is uh, maybe more refined one but musky woodsy balsamic leather 
uh, it has the musk and leather combination with a bunch of stuff various spices you know it has orris notes uh, castorian civet and very animalic and nice dark juice look at that you get the rusty feeling you go into an old house with old furniture and um, leather jackets all over the place and you go to a horse van or you know you see all these things in there that's what uh, comes to your mind um, and also it reminds you of war after a war you see the horses the saddles and uh, you know the rust and the thread uh, it's kind of weird scent but you should you should really appreciate this if you have trained noses and uh, it's an amazing scent and long lasting one let me jump to the next one from uh, pure distance this is a classic pure distance m uh, it's created by none other than roja dog this is spice and leather warm spice balsamic leather long lasting master class um, it's like inner of um, sitting inside a luxury car you know that leather combined with spices like cinnamon labdanum uh, it has some bergamot opening uh, like uh, some some fresh citrus and the moment uh, you get the spices the leather in the base is it has some sweetness to it um, added sweetness it's a long lasting amazing and very classic um, it's still apt for uh, any uh, age group uh, which is very opulent rich and warm Next one is a classic, a newer release from Galen. This is their Queer Intense. Oh man, this one is leather on your face. So what do you get out of this? Um, you get a lot of uh, leather, like a salty queer. Uh, you know, it's like what we call uh, on your face uh, but it's so beautiful uh, it is so uh, combined with uh, classic elements um, like a combination a uh, wonderful combination of notes uh, with the uh, added um, you know spices and uh, um, it lingers on it's a unique kind uh, this letter is different from uh, you know could be received by Chanel um, this has more oomph to it, more uh, classic vibe to it. You know, it's like woodsy, leather, animalic. And uh, it has some uh, flowers like Lang Lang uh, on the top. And uh, leather combined with some tobacco and wood. Amazing scent. It lasts for a long time. This is Queer Intense by Gerlain. Uh, let me go quickly. The next one is a classic from Galen. Another classic is Derby. This is a long lasting perfume. It's a very long lasting. So this one Warm spices exotic leather. Warm spices exotic leather. Long lasting on your skin. It has the classic old vibe to it. Oh, it's a bunch of spices you get in your face. And that leather. That leather is dark and soft and spicy, exotic. Um, it has that uh, bergamot opening. And uh, look at the bottle, beautiful bottle. It's an amazing one from uh, Sergio, uh, from the girl lane. The next one is from Mona Dior Mon uh, Square this is an amazing classic smoky fragrance this is Mona Dior Square look at the classic ball and the cap this what you get is smoky leather I have never smelled anything so intense so smoky and the leather and it has some spices like cardamom uh, anise and uh, you know 
castorium uh, last on your skin for a long time you get that you know burning leather uh, feeling in the beginning and it, it, after a few hours it changes to something wearable uh, the first few minutes it's going to be very offensive to some people but be very careful on the spray it's an amazing scent but it's very smoky leather dark on your face okay I'm going to next one is my roja this is roja fetish what can i say about this one this came in 2012 citrus balsamic leather that's all it is it has some citrus like bergamot and some cloves you get the clove and the lavender neroli I don't know whether lavender is listed but I get some lavender vibe it has some cardamom castorium leather so basically it has that animalic components to it it's last on your skin for long this it's a very uh, manly very rich opulent leather it's very similar to these two like the spices and because it's both created by the same master perfumer but this one has a twist to it by added some of the uh, some spices like uh, it also has some fig some of moss and benzoin amazing creation by Roja next one is my 23rd one is from Sherjov this one is the own Sherjov own this is so unique a rich leather I would recommend this as the if you want to try a leather true rich leather go and try this one this is a surge of ohm and what they can say it came in 2007 the 1717 collection this one is leather aromatic warm spicy lord of spices like cloves and lavender uh, and it has the wood and leathery base and this is like sitting in a car um, like a very rich in a Rolls Royce or something like that so this is a Rolls Royce of fragrance game it's a very manly very unique very rich leather uh, try it out uh, I would recommend it if you really love uh, leather go for it my 24th one is from Tom Ford Tuscan leather we cannot say uh, anything any reviews without mentioning Tom Ford Tuscan leather nice it came out in 2007 it's fruity smoky leather fruity smoky leather the fruit comes from the raspberry and it has the leather buttery leather and also the suede leather it has added spices like saffron at that look at that uh, the depth that spices a long lasting leather um, it's an amazing creation and it's all it's always welcomed and appreciated by the fragrance community it's an amazing creation original creation by Tom Ford Tuscan leather raspberry combined with leather amazing scent fruity uh, smoky and buttery rich uh, long lasting scent and my 25th and my favorite of all is Roja's Great Britain. Nothing else to say. In 2015, it came out very woodsy, balsamic florals combined with leather. Here, the main notes, rose and leather. So you get that richness, the beautiful, smoky, uh, animalic leather with uh, some castorium and uh, tolu balsam some morris labdanum uh, a blend of beautiful notes in the base and has that bergamot and lemon opening along with the rose jasmine violet combination in the middle and look at the cap 
this is like you go to an opera house you are going and sitting there and you see the various flowers uh, like roses and you sit on a leather chair and you enjoy the ambience and that's what it is it would be a great um, wedding scent an amazing creation by Roja uh, this stands alone and it is so classic richness complete blunt beautiful I hope you like um, leather fragrance and uh, I know that most of you have enjoyed this um, now one more only mention I want to mention one more thing which is similar to this Tuscan leather by Perfume de Marley's this one similar to the Tom Ford Tuscan leather but I get more sweetness and uh, little bit of generic vibe in the opening that's the main difference it also lasts but tuscan leather um, beats it mm, but i hope you like this video and if you like it comment it and also uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, i hope welcome all of you once again to my channel and uh, stay safe and god bless